Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Adventure Jungle Zoo. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome aboard. If you've been here before, welcome back. I appreciate your time and your attention either way. Um, when last we left, we had put together the uh, Komodo Dragon Habitat. Our Komodo Dragons are still happy and healthy, and everybody's going. I do have the game paused. Let me unpause it real quick. You know, it's a good-looking habitat. It's a uh, pretty large habitat, and the crowds are already uh, coming out. We do have 4,956 people in the park, which is a, a pretty good number. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to put the Nile monitors in right here. Um, Nile monitors do not require a lot of space, and uh, uh, what was I about to say? And you know they do require some water but i've made the land here i did uh, i i did uh, uh pre terraform this i guess you'd call it and the land elevation is such that they can um get in and out there and um i also you might want to check you, you might want to notice this i did a check to find out what the land area of this uh if this is it's 1003 uh, uh, 32 meters square and Nile monitors, if we go and look, Nile monitors, Nile monitors, dum -dum -dum. there's a lot of animals in this game, and hopefully we'll be getting more. I love having lots of animals. Um, Nile monitors only need 300 meters, so it's like, I don't know, close to four times as much space as we need. Um, now, I've already laid things out with the um, null barriers. This is, the, those yellow walls are about where I want everything to go. And I was thinking about what kind of barrier that I wanted, but I decided that what I really want, um, you know, I'm going to tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I'm going to divide this one up here, right about... I, I hate when it's uncooperative. Let's just close this up and then we'll just move it, shall we? I'm going to put this right here. Right here. I hate when that happens, when it's like, yes, I know that you just uh, let it go over here, but I'm going to move just a tiny bit. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make this part of it that kind of fence, but the rest of it, I want, um, the same thing. No, wait, this I was going to do, um, what was I going to do? I was going to do concrete for this part here, but it was these parts that I'm going to do, um, the, the strong glass. that. And this, these areas go ahead and take it down here and make that you know like so um, this might actually be a little too close to the path or it might it might want to uh, be obstinate yeah look at this okay so It's uncooperative, don't you? And I and when I say you gotta, I mean, don't you hate it? I do. And the reason I want uh, to use this particular um, barrier is because it let the um, the guests see the lizards up close, and that's what we're talking about. We are talking about lizards. OK. 
Okay, where's the trouble? The other thing is, we don't need the walls to be that high. Alright. Which it's this one. You know, I mean, these walls are like huge. These walls are like, you know, meters tall. Well, you know, if we look at the Nile monitor, it needs. 1.65, that's a meter, you know, uh, less than a meter, 1.65 feet, like just two feet, that's less than a meter. So what we can do is, uh, let's bring up the, yeah, first we can do this. other ones. You know, because we absolutely do not need uh, these walls to be two meters tall if the animal themselves only requires, you know, a little bit of space. So what we'll do is we will do this. There we go. Now, let's bring our Nile monitors into the habitat already. This is not going to be a long build. Um, because so much of the uh, um, Because so much of the land area was already pre-designed, and I've been working on some of these, you know, off and on, and, and like that. Uh, because so much of the land area was actually, you know, pre-done, it's it's not going to take a very long time to build this. Um, I don't think it's going to need two episodes. Okay, and let me get the second. Like that. Okay. Now, let's see what we can see. Nile monitor, Nile monitor, Nile monitor. Here we go. Okay, we're going to turn off the blueprints. These, by the way, with the exceptions of some of these, these are the, the shelters that actually come with the game. And what I'm looking for is just something, you know what? I know what I want. Hold on. I want... seen it. I know I've seen them. And I doubt that it's... No, that's not it. 
it's in prefab. It's in prefabs. Prefabs are basically things that the game gives you um, ahead of time. And I know the one that I'm looking for, and none of these are it. I will know it when I see it. Let's turn off the theme. And then I will just type shade. Shade gets me nothing, okay? You know, I, I swear I know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, we are going to take a very quick break, um, and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. You know what? If I can't get what I want, then I will make it up. It's pretty huge. I know what I, you know what? I know, I know what I'm looking for. It's over here. Where's the Caymans? Caymans are right here. I'm looking for this thing. Duh. Okay. Let's find the Nile monitors again. Get rid of the word shelter, and here we go. food pan because who doesn't like food pans and we will get them a water pipe are beginning to see, by the way, a little bit of a drop in frame rate and in um, and an increase in lag time, probably because of the amount of stuff that's in this zoo. We are closing in on having it be a completed zoo, but, you know, it's not there yet. But in the meantime, the fact that there's, you know, tons of stuff, I mean, look at, you know, we've got lag everywhere. I'm hoping to uh, include all the tropical animals, but it may just not be possible. If, if uh, the game slows down too much because of all the stuff is in it, I'll just call it a day and we'll start a new project. Um, I came very close to doing what I wanted, which was including all the tropical animals. I haven't decided yet on what my next project will be. Okay, you see what I mean by the lag? See what I mean by the lag there? Okay, I haven't decided on what uh, the next project would be. I'm thinking of maybe some sort of uh, desert zoo. Broken barrier, animal may escape. Okay, hold on. Facilities 
facility is broken down. Oh, for crying out loud. Where are my... Let me guess, yearly? Yeah, every three months. Let's, let's call it every month. Every month and every month. And then let's get a keeper over here immediately. Or a, a mechanic. There we go. Okay, now let's get back to over here where I was building an aisle monitor habitat. What is the other thing? A uh, vending machine built before has broken down. Okay, call the mechanic. How often? Every month? Okay, that's good enough. Oh, for crying out loud. Vending machine 4. Yes, I know a mechanic has been called. The mechanic is en route. Let us pause this game so I don't get interrupted anymore. How about that? Um, but anyway, as you notice, it's, it's beginning to lag pretty serious. Uh, not enough so that the game is unplayable yet, but enough to be noticed. So, um, like I said, you know, I don't know what my, my next project is, but I definitely know that I want to have one. I just have to figure out what it is that I want. I'm going to give him a rubber ducky. All good lizards need a rubber ducky. Weeping Willow here and a Strangler Fig, which are just imposing trees. They are just imposing. I'm going to put the Strangler Fig right here. You can't go wrong with tamarind trees. coconut trees I don't mind not being straight because coconut trees actually grow quite often they grow uh, leaning in one way or another um, but you know it's always a good thing if you have at least one that that is is uh, growing correctly
Okay. Now, you know how I said that this wasn't going to take a full episode? Wow, look at that lag. You know what? I think we may have to declare this the last habitat in the series. Okay, it is getting it is getting fixed. Um, the reason I say that I don't want to shut this series down, but the reason is I have this really amazing, um, a, a truly amazing computer, and yet we're having frame rate issues and lag. Um, I'll I'll tell you what I'll keep it going as long as possible. All right, I'll keep it going as long as possible. We see, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, folks, that is our Nile monitor exhibit. Um, let's put some signs up. Now that the actual animal is in place and the animal is happy, let's go ahead and put some signs up. Um, I knew that this was going to be a quick and easy build because Nile monitors, I'll be honest, they are one of the easiest um, animals to make happy in the game. They are, they're, they're like, hey, do I have food? Yeah. Can I swim? Yeah. I'm good. You know, it's not like the polar bears who are picky or, you know, the, um, who else are picky? The, the Okapi. The Okapi are very picky. Um, but you know how it goes. Yeah. These guys, they're, they're happy with whatever. But you can see the lag. I mean, you, you know, watch the people move as I place things down. Right? it so tell me what you think should I go ahead and start something new you know sh should we call this a, a, a done zoo since it's beginning to slow my computer down and that's a that's crazy I mean my computer doesn't slow down for you know cyberpunk which is one of the biggest most complicated games around and it's slowing down for this so it makes me wonder um, let me know in the comments below what you think. If I should uh, if I should start something new, or if I if I should try and get the other animals into the uh, into the zoo. I'm gonna hold off on my usual end of end of episode um, update list just in case this is the last episode in the series. Okay. Um, It wouldn't actually be the last episode in the series. It would just be the last habitat. What I'd do is I'd probably get rid of a lot of the extra pathing. You know, like I would, instead of uh, having this come all the way down here, I would bring it down to meet this path. And then the two of them would meet over here and I'd get rid of some of this. Um, I would also do some more decorating. And I would uh, definitely... Uh, do a tour video if this is going to be the last habitat um, That said if you think I should go on I will do another habitat. I think what's next is um, the Cassowaries I think the cassowaries are next Ah, Look at this my now monitors are already uh, expecting in any case this is their habitat. This is the Nile Monitor's habitat. I think it looks really good. It is functional. People can see it. 
let me get this sign going there are other signs I want to add real quick before we sign out we still have a couple of minutes left before what would be the normal ending of this episode so I'm gonna keep going just a minute um, hope you don't mind um, do not feed the animals okay that I did not do that and I couldn't stop it once it began yeah there's a definite uh, lag time problem here but that's to be expected given that I've probably got a hundred individual animals and thousands of pieces of construction pieces set up for this zoo not to mention all the part uh, all the plants you know, it's just taking a while for my computer to render them all. Which is pretty amazing, to be honest. So anyway, there is our uh, Nile Monitor, um, our, our, our Nile Monitor uh, habitat. Let me get a picture. I think. There we go. What do you think, guys? I think this looks really good. You know, happy animals. About to be expecting, you know, there's going to be babies soon. I think this works. I think this looks really good. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for uh, stopping by and, and watching me make a Nile Monitor video. Um, I like the looks of this habitat. It makes the most of the space while at the same time looking very natural. Um, a couple of you have said that, you know, you like my builds because I make zoos that look like the, the kind that people really go to. Folks, I want to tell you that I, I that is an amazing compliment and um, I want to thank you for it. If I wasn't already suffering lag issues, I got to tell you, I would put a second fence along the outside of this because at this point what's to stop people from just stepping into that but it is not to be what I need I guess um, the more I'm thinking about it the more I'm thinking this is the last habitat I'm gonna build for this video or for, for this series and I'm gonna start a new series soon what I need I guess is I need suggestions which animals um, which animals should I add? Which animals should I add? I'll pick an arbitrary number and uh, we will see what happens. Those, they're already popular. Look at that. We got people stopping in. This is, this is actually a pretty good zoo and you're right. This is a zoo I would love to visit myself. So anyway, guys, um, like I said, I will do some final, you know, I, I think this is going to be it. I think this is this is the last habitat episode of the of, of the zoo. Um, when you see it again, I'm going to be filling in some space and getting it set up. And uh, then we'll do a tour video showing off all of the um, all the habitats from a guest's eye view. And then after that, it'll be on to our next uh, project. I don't know what that project is going to be yet, but, you know, hopefully uh, you guys will give me some input. Thanks again for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, always remember, guys, kindness rules the world. Kindness uh, makes the world go round. Kindness is the magic bullet. If we get more kind to one another, things will go better. So please be kind. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.